Hello again. I have returned. But before we talk, let's go look at my new toys, shall we? Welcome back guys, I have returned, and better than ever. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's been a long time, I've been gone for uh, more than three months, and uh, the reason I was gone for so long was because, as you can tell, I've been upgrading. <laughs> um, what, uh, what happened was, is that uh, my old equipment that I was using for the longest time uh, when I first started using YouTube was um, you know I was using my laptop and I was using Movie Maker for the first year or so for my videos then I finally moved on to a better editing program uh, that editing program I got better at using I was starting to use more effects making stuff pop all over the screen um, that unfortunately, in turn, uh, which made for better high quality videos, uh, unfortunately uh, got my laptop uh, fried and uh, well, I had to get my baby repaired. Uh, in the process of all that, uh, I had to go and buy a new laptop and, you know, I, I, was, I was thinking to myself, you know, it'd be a lot easier if I just got a PC to make videos because PCs are much faster, they can handle that kind of stuff and that's what they're built for, especially gaming PCs. That's why we got a new PC. What you also may notice is that the screen, the screen's looking a lot nicer. It's, is, that, is that 1080p right Is that 1080p right there? <laughs> Uh, the reason uh, everything is in 1080p and not 720p or 720 upscale to 1080, which makes for a worse video, uh, is because I have uh, upgraded the camera as well. Uh, my dad got me an EOS Rebel T5 red, sexy red camera. Uh, <laughs> it's, um, it's being used right now to record and, uh, well, uh, the last camera, I don't think you'll be seeing that much anymore. But enough about the camera, let me introduce you to my setup. See, we got here um, the new PC that uh, a lot of my friends uh, went and helped me, went out of their way to help me uh, put it together. Uh, the one, I want to give a shout out to him, uh, the guy who basically picked all the parts and tried his very hardest to put it together. Um, uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend David Hubbard. Uh, go to his channel though, um, because he makes some excellent content. If you're looking for some pretty hilarious stuff online for entertainment, uh, go check out his channel. He does some pretty funny stuff on there. 
uh, some little parodies, some jokes here and there uh, about online humor. And also, if you need any quick tips or expertise on how to play Mortal Kombat X, he makes the best, the best uh, pro tips and tutorials on how to play each character. So you may be wondering, you know, okay, okay, so, you know, you got one built a new PC, that's great. Why did it take you three months to get back in the game? Um, uh, we, we, had, we had some, uh, what, what happened was uh, we had some trouble, <laughs> uh, see, um, get, bringing her to life. Um, see, we, uh, we got all the parts, um, okay. Um, we assembled all the parts, that took like way too long, it took like five days, maybe a week. And then once all parts got assembled, it was time to turn her on, and uh, well, it, it, she didn't turn on. <laughs> uh, she didn't turn on for a long time. Um, we, uh, we assumed it was, uh, it was a motherboard, and then we, uh, you know, we shipped that bag, they gave us a new one, that took like two weeks. It was practically a month afterwards, and, you know, we just got lazy, and then we finally put it together didn't turn on again, it was the same issue, um, you know, we were just running out of ideas, we went to many friends, so we went to um, a nice local uh, computer shop that knows exactly what they're doing, they do this kind of stuff all the time. Well, they took a look at her, and uh, apparently, uh, we screwed up. Uh, we, we had short-circuited three of the major components, and uh, which cost me half as much uh, to build it, to fix it. Half as much to fix it, to build it. You know, but, the main thing is it's done, it's finished, and it's running ever so smoothly. Okay? Um, now, uh, I don't know uh, all the specs by heart. I do know that this is a beast machine from what all my friends have been telling me. You know what, I'll just put all this stuff in the description and you PC nerds can, you can decipher it down there. Um, but it's a very powerful rig and it's running video games great at 60 FPS. I can capture it at 60 FPS and uh, I'm, I'm just, just so happy that my editing software is finally capable of catching up to my uh, expertise. And now let me show you uh, some of the equipment I have here. Again, I'll put all the items description below. This uh, Logitech webcam is the uh, what basically what most YouTubers or what beginning YouTubers use. And I got this on sale, and it runs pretty well. And uh, let me just let me just uh, give it a little check. How's it going? We go from camera A to camera B. How's it going, honey? <laughs> How's it going, y'all? <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, to show you uh, some of the stuff we got here, we'll just uh, put it OBS. You see, we've got Iron Man just chilling here. Let's go with Power Director. Oh, this isn't Power Director 13. What? What's this? This is Power Director 14. We yeah, we upgraded our editing software just a tad. Uh, so let me just show you, uh, I just recently finished the Evil Within First Impressions. Now we're going to ignore a couple of those because I don't have all the assets because I deleted some. And, uh, oh, would you look at that? It's loading pretty dang fast. Uh, faster than uh, my laptop. In fact, if I had all this stuff and loading it, it would probably take for friggin' ever. But uh, it's loading uh, pretty, pretty okay. It's still, you know, churning some of the assets in there, and then bam, it's all right there, and it's all right there. It's got all the jokes, it's got all the footage, and it's loading very, very fast, and I can just click and watch away. Yeah. 
Yep, I can just play all the jokes. Oh, okay, now I can watch. I can just play all the jokes and let play as smoothly as possible. I can go from one point to another. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, I mean, isn't that how it's supposed to be? Uh, honestly, on my laptop, I couldn't do this kind of stuff this fast. I would have to wait for so long and be very careful about how long and how fast I did things. Now I'm just going all over the place, just you know, going, hey, if I want to go here, I want to go there, I want to go there. And it'll catch up. It'll play very smoothly. It's Everything's working just great. Uh, I've had a few hiccups with this program. I'm learning it's not the best as far as editing goes because sometimes it can't handle all my crazy jokes and whatnot. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's handling it pretty well. I just, you know, I, I can't be too crazy with it, but... Uh, it's going, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty well. So, uh, that was the uh, Logitech camera. I showed you a little bit of uh, the new editing software I'm working with. And now let me just show you the rest of my uh, setup here. Um, we have uh, the G910 Logitech uh, keyboard. And it's a very nice keyboard, uh, perfect for gaming, uh, feels very good just typing on it. You can customize any key to have any color you want on it. Uh, it was recommended by Angry Joe on his channel, so you know, I was just like, you know, it looks so good, might as well get it myself, right? Um, and, uh, and here we have the Iron Man mouse, I've always had this since uh, the laptop, uh, and I just put it to here. Uh, we have here a uh, little desk decor. Uh, we got the we got some Funko Pops of the Empire, and of course of Star Wars Episode Seven's The First Order, just standing right here. I'm sure Kylo Ren's uh, you know getting getting used to old Darth there because uh, he worships the guy, obviously for spoilish reasons. Uh, up here we have my uh, thin. Uh, lightweight Master Sword. Uh, I have a black one, a Shadow Master Sword, in my bedroom. It's a lot bigger, more realistic looking. This one is more of a prop and also for decoration. And I might just be using it in the next uh, short film I'm working on. Uh, over here we have uh, some pixel art that uh, I'm absolutely in love with pixel art. Okay, pixel art like probably uh, my second favorite uh, art form. We got over here um, a now playing a uh, rightful title uh, erase board by my from my dad. Um, it's uh, it's to pretty much motivate me. Uh, what I'm gonna be using it for is uh, putting in my next project, and then anytime I'm working on something or while I'm filming something, I just look up here, and that's the next project I'm working on. Obviously, I've already worked on Battle for Love, but it's just, you know, nice for decoration. Got BB-8, Goku, Vegeta, just standing all cool. Mario, we got Yoshi just sitting idly on the new computer monitor. Oh, uh, that's another thing, is that this new monitor, obviously it's not as big as my TV monitor, which actually I was using uh, with the laptop before to get that kind of dual monitor display. Now it's official with the dual monitor display. I got an Asus 3D um, monitor here. Uh, I don't know exact specifics, but it's very nice. It's got very, very good um, screen quality for video games and whatnot. And the dual monitor here is just unbelievable. I'm going to be using that for my consoles. I have a little space back there to use for console gaming and uh, it'll be great for the Elgato and just everything else. Oh, and obviously we have here uh, my new blue snowball microphone. It's, uh, it's actually orange and it's a blue microphone but it's orange and I'm kind of going for like a gator theme, orange and blue, you know what I mean? Funny that way. Again, um, the specs are in the description below. Uh, for more of that. So what does this all mean exactly? What what exactly am I going to use this all for? Well, if uh, you're subscribed to the channel, then you may obviously know what my format is, but if you're new, let me reiterate what exactly my channel does. Uh, my, cha my channel comprises as a couple of main things. 
Uh, I do what I like to call video game highlights. They're not let's plays per se. I cut up me playing a video game into the funniest moments, or at least what I think are the funniest moments, and then I re-emphasize the funny moments with some moving pictures and effects and sound clips and whatnot uh, to make a very enjoyable uh, video. I also like to do short films, which is why I got the camera and uh, why I have uh, this to motivate me. Um, I actually have two short films I'm working on right now. I've had one plan all the way back in 2014, but because of the events that happened in 2015, I couldn't make that fully come true. Um, hopefully this year, um, I'm not only going to get that short film done, but I'm going to get at least five or six short films. I'm hoping for one short film every two months. So we got video game highlights, uh, short films, that's what my, mainly my channel is about. But I like to, uh, with all this new equipment, I like to explore more and see what else I can do. I'm thinking about maybe possibly doing a Let's Play with a couple of my friends. Um, maybe uh, some more YouTuber-esque uh, things like reacting to things. Um, like reacting to trailers, um, vlogs, obviously I like doing those. Uh, I'm terrible at them, I hate watching my, myself on a vlog, but some of you guys like them, so you know, that's why I keep doing them. And just pretty much anything else I feel like doing. I'm kind of like, I like to follow Markiplier's format where he pretty much does whatever he wants, so I kind of just want to do whatever I want. But mainly what you'll be coming here for this channel are the video game highlights and the short films and pretty much whatever else I feel like putting on the channel. Weird stuff like this. I have no idea why I made that. That was just... So the last thing I want to talk about with this channel, which you've already probably known because I already went ahead and made all the changes, but uh, you'll realize that uh, the channel is no longer under my name. It's not Kevin Connor anymore. Uh, I've changed it now to Digital Gator. Uh, I've made this change because, you know, um, everyone usually has an online identity. Um, I've always been called Gator Dude uh, or something Gator-esque online um, through gaming. So, you know, and you know, I, I always thought, you know, Kevin Connor, that's just my name. It's not really catchy. It doesn't really, you know, ring in your ear or anything like that, um, what, what, what draws people's attention and whatnot, and what's something I like personally. I thought about it a lot, and Digital Gator just fits perfectly because, you know, I'm a Gator fan at heart, um, I was born and raised in Florida, and I was raised to be a Gator, so, you know, that's just who I am. Uh, and what do I like doing? I like making digital media. I like making video game highlights and short films on the web for everyone to enjoy. Uh, and there are entertaining things that happen to be digital. So, um, you know, you can call me Gator, you can call me Kevin, you can call me wherever you want. Uh, it's just now the channel is entitled Digital Gator. And uh, I'm very, very excited about the title. I've already made a really, uh, <laughs> really uh, kind of a stupid logo for it. I got a Gator with a Scouter holding a lightsaber with an arc reactor and whatnot. It's, it's stupid, but it's, I, I think it's fun. 2015 was kind of a disaster for me, and um, it kind of hurt me in a lot of ways, and YouTube was one of them. Uh, I didn't push as much content as I wanted to. I did come back swinging a little bit, but still, um, I'm a little behind on some things. I'm still getting footage, I'm still getting videos uh, from 2014 that I'm having to work on, uh, which one of them should be coming up real soon, uh, and then the next one should be coming right after that. Um, so 2016, I hope to take YouTube a lot more seriously. Of course, I still have a job. I'm actually in between two jobs, um, and I'm having to take school a lot more seriously. Um, and, you know, I have other stuff going on, of course. But with all this new equipment, hopefully videos will be coming up faster, better, and just all around great. So, uh, you know, 2016 is the year I come back. And I come back swinging. So get ready for everything. Get ready for everything that's coming up. And welcome to the new format. Welcome to the new channel. 
welcome to Digital Gator. I'll see you guys next time.